I've always said that travel broadens the mind. That crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. If a reach you can't help, she's a tight gumption to steal a stolen hypocrisy. Find a bottle. No! Stop this! Potato trap! Stupid Let me out, Chuck! You're the little son that saved the friend. You. You're a slippery little Think you're clever, casting Expelliarmus every time? Stupefy. No. Well... Confringo! One less poacher in the wizarding world. Rebellion. Accio. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. I wonder who lives here. I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chocolate cats. Protego! Imperium! Bombarder! Yeah! Yeah! Accio! Confringo! Defender! Ah! Ah! Your time is short! Kill! Arrest on momentum. Yeah? Imperial. Rebellion. 
That's all the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Hmm. Someone there? It's like a place for him. Hello there. Do you have a special delivery for my dear friend, Eddie? Hello, Mr. Ndi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Happy to be of assistance. At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Well, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. It stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. That's it. Like that it's the word. There we are. Potato! Stupid point. I wonder how many they 
you brought to capture at least ten usually. Is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Starved to pick off a grab horn. Or just raring for a fight. Rebellion! A little too warm, if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I normally try, but we're well If we can get to that, we can get to the mess. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair them. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss.
That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. I wonder how long she lived here, or where she'll go now. Revelio. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in? No. I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Here you are, a true Ha! Play, play, play! What do we have here? A rebellion. It's nice to see a familiar face. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help.
How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Talk of romance. Last time I saw you with a rose was when you stuck your finger on one. Ringo, Accio, Bombarda, Accio, Confringo, Accio. What are you up to now? Huh. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Thank you for all that you've done for my most generous fan. This remarkable thing is called an accordion. <laughs> I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Let's get this over with. And what are these pitiful Arrest the momentum. No. Arrested. 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 Arrested.
Tarkov. Bombarder! There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. We'll reclaim. Weapons. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. What? Material. You will suffer. Bring up. You won't stop us. Drop her up. Why are you coming back this way? This looks intriguing. Rebellion. Imperial, how nice of you to stop by. All of Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Ravelli, nice work. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Oh, this day has gone on too long. You're making this too easy. Ah. 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 At your service. Ah. 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 Relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. Better or for worse, we're in. <sighs> Petrificus Totalus! You're... This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. There's something here they want. Revelio. Confringo. 
That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? Wingardium Leviosa. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or Repairer. solar signs, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Shame, you're so foul. We're making quick work of this. Professor Hecate would be proud. Symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Nothing over here. Water. 
I don't know why Gryffindors get credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teeming with it. But we're much more fun to fight with. A rune symbol above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Rebellion. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Cryptic led us here to find this bit of canvas. We can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Rebellion! And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. <laughs> Bombarda!
I'd like to ask you about changing the room's amp. Of course. Actually.
Oh, good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Rebellion. Rebellion. Duncan owes his reputation to you.
off on another adventure, are we? Hello there. Hello, Almeet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Rebellion. Also. Thank you for being you. Uh, Lord Gok is way. Of course. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Ertgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. 
We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bacalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, uh, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen, either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. looking at us. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Rebellion. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Convert Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Revelio. Bombarda. I've read about minds like this. Akio. See you and something else altogether. We need to be careful. As I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodgok, to say the least.
Revenio. Matter of time till Ragnarok sets things right. Hello? I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. I'm quite good at sneaking about. You'll see. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Revelio. A schematic? They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. There must be more nodes around here. What could they be building? If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Complex than I had expected. Ah, 
shield. Rebellion. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Bombarda. Rebellion. Bombarda. Rebellion. Rebellion. Nasty stuff if we're not Lumos. Good. Not an entanglement we need right now. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion.
father. Can free me. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodko what we found. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Bombarder! Alohomora! Rebellion! Bombarda! Confringo! We're almost out of here, Armit. Look! The lift! A welcome sight indeed. Can we please talk about what- That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Armit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. 
we parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. I hope Professor Fitz... I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Revelio. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. That item is of the highest quality.
thanks for stopping by. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. Perhaps I could test out my new upgrade on the way. <laughs>